1990, we undertook a major initiative to improve the water quality of the Fen Holloway River through a series of major process initiatives. Working in conjunction with Florida's Department of Environmental Protection and the EPA, we have been working to achieve fishable and swimmable standards in the Fen Holloway River. We've been uh, studying the mouth of the Fen Holloway River area since about 2004. We look at a number of different parameters, including dissolved oxygen, nutrient levels, color, and algae, specifically phytoplankton. We monitor seagrass because it's, it's a kind of a foundational ecosystem. We see a number of different species of seagrass. We see one called syringodium, which is also known as manatee grass. We see a halidule, which is called shoal grass. And a thalassia is known as turtle grass. And we also have a small one called halophila, which is star grass. They show up at different depths under different light conditions, but we see all of them. In terms of biological oxygen demand, we've reduced levels by 26% total suspended solids, 45%. We've reduced phosphorus by 36%, and our ammonia nitrogen has been reduced by 43%. And all of those are improvements in effluent quality, but at the same time, we've made a significant reduction in our effluent quantity. We've reduced that by 14%. So you can see we are underway, but we know we're on a journey and not at the destination. So we have five additional projects we're working on the first of these is oxygen delignification. And what oxygen delignification does, it adds an additional purification stage to our number two bleach plant. And this is going to reduce our effluent color and it's going to reduce our effluent quantity. So it is a win-win project. On the heels of that project, we're going to do our number one brown stock washing modernization where we'll be adding two additional brown stock washers. This will reduce our effluent color. It will reduce our energy usage and it will reduce our effluent quantity. Following that, we will go upstream and work on the Fen Holloway River and continue the work we've already begun at the San Pedro Bay wetlands. And these are freshwater wetlands upstream of the mill that serve as the saturated sponge from which the river originates. After that, we're going to convert our effluent treatment system from an aerated stabilization process to an activated sludge process. And having done all of those things, both in the process and on our effluent treatment system and upstream, then we're looking at the final step, which is relocating our effluent discharge further down the Fen Holloway River. When all these water quality projects are complete, we will meet all water quality standards in both the Fen Holloway and in the Muir Gulf areas. Well, one of the things we've done in this whole investment is we have been monitoring and evaluating the water quality and the ecology at the mouth of the Fen Holloway since the very beginning. So we know where it started and we have worked with the agencies and state to where it needed to go. By knowing where it needed to go, we know how far along we've gone. And we know that though we've made tremendous progress, we're not there all the way. And we need to complete these final projects to have full restoration of the Fen Holloway River system. And, and so we're, we're focused on it until the end. We're not done till we're done.